Today, mushroom velouté soup. You know, as long as mushrooms are available, you can make this soup all year long. But the key to enhance the flavor of your soup is this. Porcini stock. Understood, porcini mushrooms are not easy to find. Just kidding. Back in the day, picking wild mushrooms early in the morning was certainly one of my best childhood memory. It's like hunting, walking long distance before you even may or may not find any. Since no one, of course, will tell you where these beauties hide. The good news is that if you find one porcini mushroom, a sep, you will find the whole family. But you can use many other kind of mushrooms, like uh, cremini, portobello, uh, shiitake, oyster mushrooms. So you've got a bunch of mushrooms that can be used uh, to make a wonderful and tasty soup. <laughs> Let's get to work. First, you want to soak dried porcini mushrooms overnight. Clean fresh mushrooms by immersing them quickly in water and pat dry. So I'm gonna save some of the leek uh, greens uh, for the stock. And I'm gonna mince the other part, the white part, uh, to saute with uh, my mushrooms. Wash leeks thoroughly and set aside. And meanwhile, remove stems and gills. So for the stock, I'm gonna put all of these trimmings, onion, mushroom stems, thyme, parsley stem. What else? Some uh, black peppercorn. And the chopped carrot and uh, our porcini stock and water. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and cook it for an hour. And now we've got plenty of time to finish our prep. I'm gonna heat up my Dutch oven or a large pot and cube all my mushrooms, soaked porcini included. Sweat the leeks in butter and olive oil for about 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna add the mushrooms. Season with salt and pepper, cover and cook for 15 minutes on medium heat. Mmm, so yummy. So next I'm going to deglaze this with uh, some marsala, uh, madeira or you can use uh, white wine as well. Reduce to dry, add your stock, milk, and cook for 30 minutes. And see what it looks like. I wish you could smell this. It's phenomenal. So the next step, what I'm gonna do, I am going to blend half of the soup to thicken it. So, let me grab my blender. I like my mushroom soup creamy, but the less fat, the better. And a powerful blender will give you the smoothest result with just a few chunks of butter, cream or olive oil. Amazing, just add it into the remaining soup and serve. If you want to add a great garnish to the soup, saute some baby mushrooms in a very hot pan, then add shallots, salt, pepper, butter, breadcrumbs, and parsley. To get this fantastic recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Pinterest. Bye bye.